And as our city prepares to host the largest three-on-three -three basketball tournament in the world, it also means you should prepare to be finding ways around downtown. Yeah, whether you are looking to just come down and visit and to see some of the action, or if you're playing, you know, there are ways you can get around without adding a lot of unneeded miles to your own <laughs> sneakers. KXLY 4's Drew Reeves is looking ahead for you with how STA and Lyft can help get you around the maze of Hoop Fest. I'm ready for Hoop Fest, and thankfully here I'm at the Jefferson lot where buses will be running every 10 minutes to get me to my games. And while riding the bus, I don't have to stress about getting to my game on time. I know STA will do that for me. And hopping on one of STA's routes is affordable for the whole family. There's free parking at Jefferson Park and Ride and also at the River Point parking lots. And it's $1.75 for an all-day pass for Hoop Loop. And you can also uh, ride the entire Spokane Transit service area for the entire day. So here are those lots you need to get yourself to. The Jefferson Park and Ride is located right under I-90 at 410 South Jefferson. The River Point parking lots can be found here along Spokane Falls Boulevard. From there, you'll wait at most 10 minutes for a shuttle to travel the Hoop Loop with drop-offs downtown. And as excited as you are to get playing, so is your driver to get you there. It's a, also, it's a morale booster for our employees and our drivers. Everybody looks forward to being involved in this and participating at Hoop Fest. But if you aren't able to catch a bus, Lyft can get you to and from Hoop Fest without issue. The ride-sharing service has pickup locations at Howard and Cataldo, Maine and Lincoln, and Riverside and Bernard. Use the code HOOPFEST18, you'll get 20% off your ride. Now that I'm done with my full day of games, time to order a Lyft and get me home to Netflix. Right on time. Are you Drew Reeves? Yep, that's me for KXLY4 News.